Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So yesterday, I did a video talking to you about um, the game changer that I was going to be installing. But before I do that, let me take you through my Solax experience. You all know I'm an exclusive distributor of Solax in Nigeria. And the experience has been amazing. So I'm going to give you, it's been December, it'll be three years I've been running the system, the same batteries, um, my uh, single phase 7.5 kilowatt inverter initially was a 5 kilowatt a customer I blew one up and I sent them mine and I kept this that we'd exchange for a customer who went from 7.5 to single 15 kilowatt inverter so how did I find out about them initially as you all know I was a big day proponent we've done a big installation for Christ Embassy in Asheshe using um, the single phase 8 kilowatt inverters and you remember we had some serious issues with cables heating up some losses because of you know voltage of course i started reaching out to companies that um manufacture manufacture high high voltage inverters and solax was the only one that took time to talk to me the experience has been fantastic so far so the installation process on this is really easy it doesn't take a whole lot you know um once you connect the inverter to the batteries it sees itself and all you do is you go in and then you do some slight setting changes based on certain parameters you want. The default is that it will, it will discharge to 10%. So you can take 90% 90% out of the batteries. The mid box made it quite easy for us to, um, you know, the mid box has the PV disconnect. The newer inverters now have the PV disconnect built in. The mid box has the two transfer switches, one for grade, one for... Um, EPS. It also has our, our, our grid breaker, our current limiter. Let me see if I should, let me just open it and show it to you instead of just talking. This is just opening my mouth and running my mouth. So let me just show it to you. So it has our off grid breaker, which we use the current limiter. Let me see if I get closer. Okay, if you see it, then this is the grid inverter breaker. So if the grid is present, this would allow the grid to charge the inverter. If you turn it off, if the grid is present, it won't charge. And then this is the grid breaker. So I can turn the grid off and it won't come in through this contactor here. And then here's a battery breaker. So all that is in here. So it makes it look really clean and really neat. So this was something we liked. We did it at the beginning and then we stopped doing it. What else did I like? Um, it's IP65. I could install this outside. I did not. But the new one we're installing outside so we can install this outside it does very well um it doesn't matter whether it's um rain sun it will work fine now one of the things um let me talk to you about um how it's worked for me day to day so i'm 100 percent of the grid as you all know i run i don't have the grid and let me see if i can show you my battery is right now at 90. so this screen is difficult to film but my battery is at 98 percent let me see if I can get that for you. Yep, you've seen it 98%. I run my fridge, my freezer, my air conditioner that's on, on 24 hours a day. Um, what else? Then during the week, the office is on and there's a window unit AC there, one and a half horsepower. And this has carried it without a problem. I also cook. Um, I boil. I also um, use it for my you know, hot water to bathe. I run my microwave, my air fryer, my juicer. My blender, everything runs on this. My water pump, everything runs on this. So it's 100% um, off-grid. We run generators during the rainy season. So rainy season does affect us, but I don't. I can't remember the last time we ran generator. At least we've not run that generator in at least two months. But when we go through extreme periods, and the reason why I got a generator is because I don't want to put anything off. So even if it's rainy and cloudy, I turn. I don't turn anything off. Everything stays on. Let me go back a little bit. Let me tell you what I installed. Um, 5.8 kilowatt hour, 5.8 kilowatt hours. So I have 11.6 kilowatt hours in battery. This is the master. The master has a BMS in it, and that's a slave. My mid box and that's the inverter itself. So I apologize. I, I got a little too ahead of myself. Now you know what it is I have. So 11.6 kilowatt hours in battery is 90% usable. And I very rarely get to that point where I see 90% that I've used. How durable it is, is incredibly durable. Um, we've, installed, we've been installing this since 2021. In fact, last year, we didn't have stock, and I'll come back to the issue, I'll come back to the stock issue. 
we refuse to install anyone else. We, if we're not installing Solax, we aren't installing an, anyone else. Very, very durable, incredible build quality. Um, in the field, we've, we don't have to, we had two failures that were caused by the customer, but they were replaced under warranty. As you know, it comes with a 10 year warranty. So um, that's a big plus. Form factor, as you can see, is pretty okay. Uh, Solax now has gone to the stackable battery. So the stackable, ba stackable batteries make the form factor look even better. Is it noisy? No, actually, as you, let me get close. Do you hear anything? So it sounds like a small fridge running. That's about as good, that's about as loud as it gets. It's a tiny little fridge running. That's what it sounds like. So it's pretty quiet. It runs pretty well. We've not faced any issues. Well, let me say, at the beginning, when I first installed it, we had firmware issues. So they had to give us firmware that would allow us to run um, this inverter. What happened was it, the batteries are discharged overnight, and then uh, when the sun came up, it would not come on. So they gave us firmware that allowed us to be able to charge the batteries when the batteries were below um, 10 percent. So that was one thing. Another issue we had: these batteries they they will go out of balance once in a while, and you struggled how to rebalance it. Um, we have a T58 parallel box. We could charge them individually so we charge the slave using the t58 and we charge this using the inverter but we also have a charger and we can use the charger to wake them up and charge them individually so yes the biggest issues we had were the batteries going out of balance but that was easy to resolve so i'm giving you three years three years um well what does it cost me um since i do this for a living it's not going to cost me any, anywhere near what it's going to cost you. So, and for me, electricity is not negotiable. So for me, this is much cheaper than me getting a generator. But when I purchased it in, 20, in 2021, it cost about 8, 9 million Naira. It's substantially more than that now. As you know, exchange rates have, you know, gone, gone kablooey, haywire. So definitely cost much more. Um, so let me get back to the reason why I have a different vendor. Solax, Solax is 100% reliable. I don't have any issues with them. We install them, we forget them. There are customers who we don't talk to. They refuse to speak to us because everything is working fine. They don't need anything from us. The reason why we are getting a, a different vendor is because we have supply issues. We've made orders. And when we think they're here in Nigeria, they're still in China. It happened once, it happened a second time. Uh, one of the times I spent $21,000 to get inverters to get batteries brought in by air because we'd already promised the customers the job uh when we went to the shipping agent to pick the items up the batteries were not there and when i reached out to my people at solax in china they told me the batteries were still in china that freaked me out that got me very very upset so i attributed it to an error but when it happened the second time i recognized that i needed a second um i needed a second supplier so that's the reason why we have the new supplier on board. Uh, one thing also is um, there are limitations. So with the Ultra, the Ultra is an incredibly powerful uh, machine, but you're limited to 300 kilowatts of grid. We've gotten quite a few customers who have requested much bigger systems than that. And what we've done is trying to do two systems for them. And I don't think, um, yes, while it works, it's not very neat. So a new supplier is going to allow us to do uh, 1.2 megawatts of grid. So for our customers, especially large hospitals, large hotels, that begins to make sense. In terms of cost comparisons, they're pretty similar cost-wise. So I'm pretty psyched. Um, if you like what um, you've heard, give me a thumbs up if you have any questions. Post them in the comment section below. Would I buy it again? Yes, without even blinking. I, I'll continue to sell Solax inverters and I'll continue to sell the new one. I'm working on a contract that will allow me to be an exclusive, and once, once that's um, finalized, you'll see more of it. But Solax, I swear by them. Uh, the product is pretty reliable. As long as you're doing the high voltage, they are pretty good. They, they've had time to work out the kinks and the bugs, and it's a fantastic product. So once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you like what you see, do give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you.